day everyone today i will introduce to you the drawing tools materials instruments and equipment okay. the first one is to have here the drawing board okay. or you can uh, if you have your drawing board okay. this is our drawing board you can uh, place your drawing paper okay, where you can uh, fasten your drawing paper on the drawing board. This is the working edge. It must be straight as possible. Then the top of your drawing board must be smooth. Okay. Next, we have here drawing paper. Okay, this is our drawing paper. You can use Band paper or long size band paper as your drawing paper. Next, we have here foot rule. Foot rule. This is used for marking out distances as well as for measuring purposes. Okay. But here, the English system, we have the inches. Here, we have here the metric system, or this is in centimeter or millimeter. Okay. Next, we have drawing pencils. Okay. We have here drawing pencils. This is ordinary pencil. And we have here drawing pencils. Drawing pencil is used for sketching and for your drop. Okay. It varies on the grades of pen pencil. Okay. They are soft, medium, and hard. Okay. Next, we have the T-square. Okay. This one. T-square. Okay. We have two types of T-square. This one, the movable or movable head. And this one, this is fixed head. This is the working edge of your T-square. This is the head. Okay. We have here the parts of the T-square. Okay. This is the head, the working edge of the T-square. We have here hole. The purpose of this hole is for hanging on nails. If you don't have the bag of your T-square, okay. That is the purpose. This is the limit, the length of the T-square, okay. Next, we have triangles. Okay. Triangles is used to draw vertical and inclined lines we have two types of triangles this one this is 30 degrees by 60 degrees by 90 degrees okay another one this is 45 by 45 by 90 degrees the same purpose this is used work, working hand in hand with a T square. Okay. This is for inclined lines and for vertical lines. Same with this. They vary on the measurement for the degrees. 30 by 60 by 90 degrees. This is 45 by 45 by 90 degrees. Okay. Next, we have drawing compass. Okay. Drawing compass 
is used to draw arcs and circles. Okay. This is the handle. We have uh, here two legs. The first leg that is serves as the center of your circle. Okay, let us try. We have here our small cross represent the center. We're going to draw a circle. Okay. This is the first leg for the center. Another leg for the pencil. Okay. Next, we have French curve. Okay. French curve, this is used to draw irregular curves. Okay. This one. This is irregular curves. We have here also a template for ellipse or elliptical shape. Okay. Again, this is French curve. Okay. Next, we have here triangular scale. Okay. Triangular scale, this is used for marking out distances for Aside from that, this is used for measuring and for scaling purposes. These uh, drawing tools use to reduce or to enlarge your drawing. Okay, this one. We have different scale here. Okay, we want to reduce or enlarge your drawing. triangular scale okay next we have drafting tape okay this is used to fasten your drawing paper to the drawing board okay drafting tape okay. next we have eraser okay. eraser of course, your sharpener. This is used to sharpen your drawing pencil. And we have here protractor. Okay. Protractor is used to lay out angles. It is made of transparent plastic and it is a half of half shape of the circle. Okay. A full circle that is measured 360 degrees. The half of that is 180 degrees. Okay. Again, this is protractor. Okay. Next, we have here erasing shield. Okay. Erasing shield. This is used to protect your drawing if you are going to erase. This tool is made up of metal with irregular holes. It is a useful tool to protect the rest of your drawing when cleaning up smudges, unnecessary lines or pencils in your drawing. Okay, for example, this is your drawing or this one for example this is your drawing there are unnecessary lines okay if you want to erase this and if you want to protect your drawing from your eraser okay look for a hole that fits on your unnecessary marks then you can erase here uh, you see you protect your drawing another here for example you have here unnecessary line for your vertical line okay look for a line or a shape that fits on your unnecessary marks 
Then you can use your eraser. You can erase. Okay. So you protect your drawing. Then the last one is we have the templates. Okay. Circular templates, circular templates. This one and this one is to have that works. Okay. I hope. You uh, understand the drawing tools, materials, and equipment. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you learned from me today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons. Bye, babies!